the Cardinals do take two out of three in the first series at Wrigley. And kind of shocking, to be honest with you, because heading into that series, uh, I know they had won a game. I mean, they but they were – before that, they were on an eight-game losing streak, right? And so, yeah, so they were due. It's just like hitting. I guess so, but it doesn't make it any less – I mean, and even that series, so the, the first game – of the series, right, with Strowman versus Michaelis. And if you look at the stats, right, Michaelis doesn't even pitch. He pitches four and a third innings. He does strike out seven. But the bullpen, I mean, the bullpen was outstanding. Jordan Hicks coming out of nowhere. Two two innings for Jordan Hicks. Who, who would have thunk? And then Ryan Helsley. I feel like Ryan Helsley, I don't have the stat pulled up, but Ryan Helsley has to lead major league baseball and inning plus saves. Like I feel like the bullpen is being extended so much with our starting pitching because the starting pitching it's a theme here is still a problem for the Cardinals because they're not going deep into the games. And guess right. what? That puts a huge strain on your bullpen. Um, and mean, and meanwhile, the Cubs still have two pitchers who are in the top five for quality starts on the season with Marcus Stroman and Justin Steele. And of course, Drew Smiley is got to be, he's got to be close behind. Like you said, I don't have the stats pulled up right now, but, um, you know, pitching has been the strength of uh, one of the strengths of the Cubs this year. So the Cardinals in game one, I mean, kind of, I mean, that's the Contreras game. That's the Contreras heel turn where he, he came back and, you know, he went two for four with a, with a couple RBIs. And basically led the Cardinals after the weird decision, which we'll talk about later, of him not catching yeah. any for you know not in the recent future. For the, so the Cardinals took Game One. They also took Game Two, six to four. And Mike, if you want to interject at any moment, you can to talk about. It. I'm just but Jack Flaherty again. Jack Flaherty five innings pitch. So we're not again. Here's the theme: starting pitchers not going deep into ball games, not conducive to long term success. Which I mean, the 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 quality starts that the Cubs are getting, that bodes well for them in the future. Be, uh, you know, for the long grind of a 162 game season. And so again, you have guys going. I mean, Palante pitching an inning and two thirds. Stratton, Chris Stratton's an underrated player, uh, very good pitcher out of the bullpen. And then Gallegos in game two gets the save. And then, so even the Cardinals winning a series is weird because then in the third game, they have their best pitcher on the mound, and you're thinking, wow, our chances of a sweep are pretty good, I would think. I mean, uh, this is about as good as you can hope for. And then Montgomery goes out there and lays a stinker, gives up six earned runs in five innings. Again, we don't have a starter going longer than five innings ever, it seems. Same deal last night with Wainwright. And we'll talk more about last. We can talk about last night's game too, but Montgomery gets beat up, and then Verhagen comes in, gives up three runs, and then you know it just kind of implodes at the end, and you can't really have a series win. It's their first series win of the season without it being weird. It's just been a weird year, and I'm happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy the Cardinals won the series. I'm happy the Cardinals have won four out of their last five, but. It still feels like there's a lot of problems with this roster, especially when you look at the fielding Bible and their defensive efficiency. It's alarming that they're not very good anymore defensively, which I thought. How, how does something. that happen when you say not anymore? I mean, what, you know, does that mean they were ever good? I, I don't, you know, these guys are professional baseball players. I don't, that's the part that is so intriguing to me. Uh, you know, they talk about with the Cubs, they talk about, uh, how we've got an improved defense, you know, and our, our defense is much improved, but look at the turnover and players that we've had, right? I mean, we, we've got a, got a lot of guys that have coming in on one-year contracts and and things of that nature. We're, we're moving Nick Madrigal all over the field, seemingly. You know, he's been playing a little bit of third. He's in second. Of course, the, the um, you know, the downside of the Cardinals-Cubs series for us was losing Nico Horner, um, who was day to day until yesterday, and now is on the ten day IL with a minor ha hamstring pull. You you can't those hamstring pulls, man. You got to rest is the only thing, right? I mean, I know they've got 
other professionals working on him and that kind of thing. So that was, that was tough to see, but um, so I'm glad we've got that depth with, you know, Madrigal wisdom, uh, Christopher Morrell gets called up and he's still, you know, continuing his kind of terror that he was on in AAA showing as, as I think, I can't remember who the, if it was an executive or Rossi who said, you know, he's basically when they called him up, he said he's too good for that league. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, and, and so kind of Jordan Walker esque, you know, I, I mean, Jordan Walker's kind of Christopher Morell esque, I guess, from my perspective, you know, here's a, a good player. I mean, international player of the month, all that kind of stuff, but uh, losing Horner was not a good thing, but uh, thankfully, Morrell comes in and fills in the gap. I mean, in the last game uh, of that Cardinals Cubs series, you know, Morrell had four at bats. He had a run and two hits and two RBIs. Um, you know, coming up from from AAA just a couple days earlier, where he didn't even play. I don't even think he played in the first game. He might, he may have had that bat. I don't remember. Um, but now I think he's leading off. <laughs> I mean, he's he stepped in the leadoff position. So. Yeah, fun to watch. It was a good series. It was a good series. I wish the yes. weather would have been a little nicer. Yeah, aside from the last game, the last game was kind of a blow up. But those first two games, I mean, Carilli could have gone either way. And, I mean, there were moments that where you felt like the Cubs had a chance to come back. And, I mean, really kind of looking at this Cardinals team from afar, I tweeted out last night. And, I mean, now, we're, now I'm going to transition us, you know, good, first of all, Cardinals win, baby. Take the first series. We'll we'll never we'll never not be happy about that. I mean, you can't take those for granted. It's tough to win a series at Wrigley Field for sure. Uh, 